Okay, so we're going to be practicing our twinning techniques same on screen. So this is going to be very similar to the scenes that we saw in Parent Trap where both Lindsay Lohans were looking at each other while on the screen at the same time. Um, as you guys saw, most of, most of the tricks that they did in Parent Trap were camera tricks where Lindsay Lohan just had different hairstyles and they kept her out of the screen with herself. That's a really confusing way to talk about that. Like, it's really hard to talk about twinning. But you'll notice every once in a while they did a shot where both of them were on the screen, and this is how they did that. So let me first record, uh, do my setup. So I'm using my laptop, and that means my camera will not move. Why? Because my camera's not being held by anyone. It's going to be sitting still. First things first, you want to think about a dividing line between your two selves. So I'm going to try and keep this line between me and my other self. So let's start by recording self number one and keep on that line. Oh, it's a picture. Ah, oh, not video. There we go. Video. Three, two, one. No, David. So about seven seconds, and then I'm going to go on the other side of the line now. Do I give myself enough? Yeah. And just try to make sure that I'm not on the other side. This is where directors are important. So in theory, what I want it to look like is one one side being scared of of the other and the other side being angry and like <laughs> so we've got our two parts my camera is still my actor hopefully was on two sides this is really hard to do by yourself by the way because it's really hard to see whether or not I'm on the other side when I'm taping myself this is why being the director is important because someone needs to be behind the behind the camera telling the actor are they crossing that line and that sounds really serious. Are you, is your actor crossing the line? A bit too much. So I've got my stuff recorded. Let's get that into Affinity, not Affinity. I'm in the wrong class. Um, Final Cut Pro. Let me remember where I'm at. OK, Final Cut Pro, and we want these two guys in. So let me drag those guys. And I've got my two shots now in Final Cut Pro. Now to start putting them together. With this kind of shot, it's not important which one you start with. But it's important how you drag your second film in. You want to drag it over the others. Because what we're doing is layering film. So that one's on top of the other. And you will notice you can't see both films when you play. So if I play this right now, all you're going to see is I think this is my angry side. You're only going to see my angry side. That's because everything's layered. What we want to do is actually cut the top layer. So think of it like actual paper. When we have paper, one covers the other. Well, let me grab something a little bit more obvious. Let me do two colors of paper. Don't they know I'm live recording right now? Disregard that, though. Okay. So what we've done is essentially cover one with the other. Notice when I do this, you can't see any of the yellow. The next step is we're going to cut part of the top layer so that we can see the layer underneath. So remember, the bottom layer is me being scared. So to do that, it's very similar to what we've done before to cut pictures. But rather than crop, which focuses on one section of the picture, we're going to do something called trim. So over here, we want to do crop. But notice we have three different options, trim, crop, Ken Burns. Trim cuts your top layer. So in theory, if I'm doing this right, you'll start seeing my other side. Ooh, the two sides of Mr. Romano. 
And this is why it's important to stay on your line, because anything past that line disappears. So if I cut it like that, you'll notice there's only half an angry Romano. That line is super important that you get a clean cut. Now in professional films, they have people that can go frame by frame by frame, cutting at the very edge of the picture. We just want a nice with the straight line, just like he did. But trim, it's gonna show me. Need to trim the, uh, have this picture of Germana's head. <laughs> on this. So we're gonna be practicing this technique today. So you might wanna think about an interaction that you can do simply. These kinds of scenes do not do long. You don't want to do these this longer than five, ten seconds. Because the longer you do it, the harder it is to line up. The issue here is that um, the issue with these kinds of shots, and you'll notice this in every example film that we looked at, they keep those sh uh, short. Why? Because it's hard to line up your actions with yourself. So, for instance, if I'm throwing things at myself or I'm trying to like scare myself, I have to think about my timing. When do I cower? Because I don't, don't, don't have an active actor doing actions. I have to pretend that that actor's there. So I have to time it. Timing gets weird because you have to sync up your actions. Otherwise, it's going to look really strange because you're going to be like jumping when your other self isn't doing anything or you're going to be reacting when your other self is doing nothing. The longer you're shot, the more difficult it is to line up, line up your actions. That's why when we saw in the parent trap, really the only times they lined up shots like that were like when they were looking at each other and smiling. <gasps> really simple actions, really short shots. You don't want to do this too long. So I'm going to give you guys time now to try practice this, practicing this out. Remember, two things. Keep your camera as still as possible. That means your camera person, your director, whoever's holding your camera or a cameraman if you're super fancy and have an extra person, needs to keep as still as possible. We have, I think, two working tripods right now. So you guys can use that. Otherwise, you're just going to have to keep really still. Um, one handy way to keep things still is to just, if you want, guys want to borrow my cart or set yourself up at a desk with some books propped up, just set your camcorder there, and that way your camcorder won't move. What's up? You can also record on your machines if you want to use. Actually, I don't know. Do you guys have access to Photo Booth? Let's double check because I think they may be deactivated. Photo Booth should be, I think, one word. I'm going to start processing this so you guys have this because these are questions that don't need to go on the video.